Hello everyone, this is Tatiana Ivanova, a real estate broker with General Scott. I'm doing a short video on home mortgages. Now that we are in the beginning of 2021, some of you might be thinking what your first steps towards buying a home should be. Buying a home is a challenging and emotional process with many steps involved, so you're not sure where to begin. That being said, the first step should be finding a good lender and getting pre-approved. By this time, you've all heard about historically low interest rates. So why not find out how much you can afford in terms of home price and monthly payments? You might think you can afford 400,000 home, but a lender might think differently based on certain factors. It will be a bummer to find out after you've already searched for dozens of homes online well above your price range, maybe envisioned yourself in one of them. You need to have a good credit score and a history of paying your bills on time. The lender will help you work on your credit score and it can take a while or can be quick enough if it's just a few points to get to a good threshold. A first time buyer should also know there will be some expense involved in getting a home loan. A lender will tell you a current interest rate and there is a price for that, which is mortgage point or discount point or percentage point. One point is 1% of your loan amount, or every thousand dollars for every hundred thousand loan. If you want lower per interest rate, you'll have to pay more discount points. Or if you do not want any points at all, there is a higher interest rate respectively. How does the lender set the amount you can afford? You will provide the lender with your financial information and the lender will run these numbers in terms of two ratios, debt to income ratio and housing expenses to income ratio. Generally, lenders do not want your housing expenses to be higher than 30% of your in income. And these include principal, interest, tax, insurance, plus private mortgage insurance if you are putting less than 20% down, down payment. Debt to income ratio can be higher, around 40%, and these include all your monthly financial obligations. Well, these numbers are a guidance only, and they will depend on your personal financial situation.